only state in the whole country without a funding formula. If that doesn't do it for them, I don't know what will. We need a funding formula so that we can adequately educate every child in the state and so that we can distribute our scarce resources, scarce state dollars at the moment are going to cities and towns, as we all know. We need a formula that can tell us objectively how many, how much money every district needs to educate their children because the costs of education, as you know, are shared between the state and the local communities. And those local communities that don't have a lot of ability to raise money from their property taxes need more state dollars. Those that have more ability need less, but everybody needs some dollars and we need to find that right amount for each district that gives an equitable distribution so that every child, no matter their zip code, no matter their economic background, gets the fair chance of success that they deserve and for our state. So I think that's it in a nutshell. If we, we really want you to stress also the issue about we need to increase our state commitment to the cost of education over time as the budget allows. And I think that's the key phrase. We know there's no money for it this year, but over time as the revenues get healthier, we need to insist that this state commits resources to education at a 50% level, the same way that other states do. Massachusetts donates, um, contributes 48% of the cost of education to its kids. And so we want that 50-50 split, 50 from the locals, 50 from the state. That's our goal over time, as the budget permits, that's a commitment. But right now, we want a funding formula this year with the current money that we have, because we can do it with the current money in the current budget, and let's go get it done. So. Um,